see it. I can see it. Got the green lights, buddy. Got the green lights today. That's all good. We may want to line that up a little better. I don't know what, what we're doing here. Got the weeble wobbles. There we go. That's a little better. That's a little better. See, I'm like, we'll get home back in there. We're just trying to pull it up a little bit. Maybe. 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 We got a wonky trailer, dude. As always, it's FedEx, right? All the trailers are wonky. What? There we go. How about right there? I think I like that. Yep. Not too bad. <laughs> All right. That might be a little too close. A little too close for comfort. Check this. I'm always paranoid. I'm not putting them together in the wrong order. Nope, 81299. Very good. That's closed. Excellent. Excellent. Alright. Drop this turd down. Then we'll get a little boy right there. Put them together. What do you say? What do you say? I like that game plan. The past few days have been absolutely gorgeous. I gotta say, although I'm very much sad that the uh, warm weather is out the door, it's kind of hard to argue with uh, what's currently going on. So they could stay like this year round. Wouldn't be too bad. Hey, it might be a little chilly for me, but. The idea that it is quite pleasant. It could stay this way for a long time and I'd be okay. Actually, I'd probably get used to it. High of 70. <laughs> I mean, that's actually pretty awesome. Low of, uh, excuse me, I don't know, it was like what, 40? Uh oh, lower that tear down. The, uh, it was like 41 degrees this morning. Yeah, we definitely got to lower that down. We almost got right up on it, didn't we? Dag on it. Let's see if we can make this stupid on ourselves. Come on. Oh, come on. Come on. You know it. You know it. You know it. Come on. That's difficult. Come on. Good Lord. This. <laughs> oh, that's too heavy. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Give ourselves a mind break. That's irritating. Tell you what, so maybe Michael's gonna have to uh, take a slight break. I'll be right back. <laughs> LOL. That landing gear, straight booger. But, exercising a little bit of uh, patience and brain power. We got it. We got it done. We got that. We got that thing done. We got it done. We did get it done. Had to use my use my mind as well as my might. <laughs> Whatever, right? Stupid thing. It's irritating me. There we go. There we go. Woo! A little better. Look at that right in there, buddy. Right on in there, right? Almost. Straighten this part up a little bit. Oh, like so. There we go. Ooh. 
Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful thing. Alright, we're not doing too bad. This thing was straight irritating me though. I gotta say. Looks like man. Can't tell how close we need to be here either. So, we're gonna try right here. I mean, for real. Start down with those janky landing gear. It is the worst. Now I'm too far back. <laughs> but I'll get a uh, get a lay of the land here. I think if I back up to that line there, should be good. <laughs> Man. Yeah, dude. Can I see that line? Yeah, I can see it. Turn this, turn this heat down. Woo! Can I see that? I can sort of see it. Alright. Let's see. Yeah, I'll say. Not about there, right? I love it. No. Ah, shut up. <laughs> eh. We're close. Oh, no, it's perfect. I love it. Our lights are on. Oops. How about that, buddy? I think that's awesome. And put this guy right here. We'll go ahead and put this in our pocket temporarily, right? All right. I think traffic is okay. I think it is. There was some BS on 71 southbound, but guess what? We're going north. That's good, right? Here, there was a little earlier BS on 71 North here around the Grove City area. That was earlier this morning, so I think that's. I think we're good there. Here too. All right. What do you say we push these two together? So. I'm expecting pretty smooth sailing. We might have BS to deal with on I-80. As is kind of the has been the thing. I can't remember if Saturday. We didn't get any delays Saturday. Or Friday for that matter. But that worked. Did work but I still have the cones set up for it so for the construction on whatever those stupid things they're doing cutting up those sections of concrete so yuck hopefully we don't get delayed with it I don't know if I went in here far enough did we well I think so I'll tell you what we're gonna do I'm super paranoid about this lately. And the rose seeds, man. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. I say, I say that uh, hooked right on in there, buddy. So, good. I'm glad we checked, right? Alright. Look these guys up. We'll pull forward, right? Yes. And then, you know what we're going to do. We'll put our digits in and double check that traffic one more time. And then we'll be on our way. There's the pain. There you go. Excellent. We have this up. <laughs> At least the uh, driving conditions pretty spot on today so let me uh, pull this forward get checked out successfully and we'll uh reconvene a little later on down the road dude it's been michael brb hey, uh, the old dot is hot and heavy we have a truck parking area today <laughs> that's all right we'll still do our Quick visual inspection. Make sure we're all good. <laughs> Always 
makes me nervous. I don't like police, dude. <laughs> I don't think many people relish the idea of having to interact with them on any basis. Do a little squat. There we go. All right, man. I need to sweep this, sweep this truck out again. Dude, I'm not gonna be making messes lately. Good lord. All right. Let's do that. All right. Oh, yeah, dude. Yeah. He's thinking about it. Think about making that big step off, dude. All right. Woo, buddy. Let's get rolling here. No Millis. I have no Millis. I think I was wrong with him. Did he not make it to the truck parking area? Oh, I know what that dude did. I bet he slept out. Does that one get so full that you gotta sleep on the side of the road? What an idiot. Why aren't they over there messing with him? I bet that's exactly what that is, dude. Continue on I 70. Oh, Millis slept on the side of the expressway, dude. You know what that is, buddy? That's poor trip planning on Millis' part. Ugh. There's a terminal right there in Columbus. He only had to go another about 40 minutes. He'd have been there. I don't know. I don't think you should park on the side of the expressway. I think you're better off. What happens if you get a, actually get an hour as a service violation? You know what I'm saying? Like, if you go over, I've never done it. I've gotten like down to like one minute before, but I've never actually uh, went into the violation. If you go into it, like let's say, let's say you, I don't know, drive for 10 more minutes, five or 10 more minutes, whatever. Let's just call it 15 minutes. Let's just say you do a 15 minutes over. But like, you got to a safe place, right? To park for the night. Not a safe haven, none of that weird terminology. Let's just say you got to a, a, pro, like a parking spot where you can park. But, there's, but you don't get inspected by the DOT in that week period following that, right? Like what, like, if your carrier doesn't say anything to you, do you not really, is there anything that happens to you? Is it reported to the DOT? Do you know what I mean? Like a violation? Does that go anywhere? Or is that just, uh, like, does that go on any kind of, I don't know how it works, honestly, because I've never, I've never been over it. Um, I think I remember my stupid trainer saying that he went over it once, once or twice, but he didn't get any, I mean, he wasn't in any, in any trouble, so, I mean, and then let's say, well, better yet, let's say you do go over it, because I don't, again, I'm ignorant, y'all let me know if, if you have any insight on this, if you go over, let, like, let's say, oh, Millis back there drove an extra 25 minutes or so to get to uh, the terminal. Not his final destination, but just the terminal where he parked for the night. And let's say, and you know, and that shows him, you know, minus 25 or whatever, 25 over on his log. If he gets pulled over the next day for an inspection and they review his logs and they're like, hey man, yesterday you were over. Those leaves are pretty. Um, like, what is the fine for it? Do you get a ticket? I'm assuming they write you a ticket. Um, I guess you get a ticket, right? How much is that ticket? This is just points on your record. I'm just trying to determine like how serious of a, uh, like if you're not a chronic, like if you don't have multiple HOS violations, dude, like how bad is one? Do you know what I mean? Like you had to 
not park on the side of the road and you had to you know what I mean or in that situation let's say he's running out and that parking area is all jacked up full can he personally convey to a place that's not on the side of the road do you know what I mean those uh I don't think I under fully understand how that works well enough. I'm sure over the years I have used personal conveyance in an incorrect manner. It seems like there's a lot of uh, different ways to interpret it. But uh, just curious how that works there. Um, I mean, because you could get caught. There was one time I uh, it was like I was, well, you could call it, there's a Fondart, 1-800 Fondart. Drive like a pops. I was in Illinois. I think I was leaving the Chicago area. And, uh, you know, you get held up with a stupid shipper. It took, like, way longer than what it was supposed to, like, what I... I was new to the... Oh, I was new to the uh, shipper-receiver game taking 40 years to get you loaded. Come on, Fondart. How fast is dump, dummy gonna get going down the hill here? There you go, 70. Give me 74, buddy. There's 73. Come on, give me 75, Fondart. Come on, man. So I got like held up and I did not have like a whole lot of time left. And I forget what the exact situation was, but I don't think maybe I, could, I couldn't stay at the uh, shipper or receiver or water. Maybe I was too dumb at that point to like ask if I could. <clears throat> so I took off to try to get to a, uh, you know, to, to stop for the night. And the whole Chicago land area there kind of blows for, uh, you know, finding parking. So the first few truck stops I went to, because it was later on in the day, it was like the evening time. It was after five. <clears throat> and I couldn't find a place to, uh, couldn't find a place to park, dude. So I pulled over, like, on this big shoulder. I forget what stretch of road I was on. I don't know if that's... Whichever one goes over, like, through Rochelle. All that. I forget what that is. Um, is that 43? I don't know what that is. 90? No, 90 goes up. To... Maybe it is 90. I don't know. Whatever. And, uh... I pulled over on the shoulder for a while and then I had my hazards on and I thought about sleeping there and I st actually like stayed there for like 40 minutes and I had my hazard lights on and like tick tock tick tock tick tock tick tock and I was all nervous and I was like this is crazy I was like, this is a terrible idea it have, when it was it, was, it would have been a horrible idea to have like stayed there <laughs> so I just put that thing in personal conveyance bruh drove about 25 minutes up the road found a uh, there were like there was a pilot I think there was a pilot a pilot or a road ranger or some stupid place like that and then a loves a fairly decent sized loves now there was no parking at the loves but they had uh, but folks there had creatively parked like lining the uh, hell this nonsense had a uh, creatively parked lining like this big long entrance way into the truck stop so found myself one of like the very few remaining spots where a truck would fit parked there for the night but way better parking there I had no problem getting out in the morning I was able to go into the loves and take a shower and everything and you know it was like normal normal day at the normal night at the truck stop ma'am but like that's obviously Oh, they're finally fixing that. Thank God. That pothole sucked. I hit that a thousand times, dude. That's the way to do it, too. Just pull up a whole big old chunk of road. Um, woo, very sneeze. So, yeah. That's way better. Now, I never got in trouble for it. No one said anything to me about using personal conveyance. And I probably was not in the right in that situation. Like, I don't know what when you're allowed to get to a place to park. If you can't just like run, I don't think it's legal for you just to burn your 11 hours out and then like, oh, time to go another 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? 
Like, I don't think that's how that's supposed to work. That's not what I was doing. But still, you know, I think my 14 hour clock was like running out or something. Something was like, it was like that, that I didn't have any enough time to like get where I, to get anywhere. <laughs> Goats. So I don't know, man. So that stuff's stressful. So when I bitch about that, when I see people doing it, like I get it that you could be stuck in a, like a, uh, kind of a turd situation. Um, you know, there's lim limited parking. I don't know, but those Millis dudes, I know from working there, you can choose how you want to run. That's one, one of, one of the benefits of, one of the benefits of working there. Um, was that, you know, you can run however, they didn't tell you really how to do it. They didn't tell me how to do it, really. Not, not a whole lot of direction. It was like, and I pretty much was able to run, basically, to get up at 4 or 4.30 in the morning and then be running a half hour later, right? Half hour to 40 minutes later. I'd be, be going. So on the day that I got up at 4, I'd be running by 4.45, right? Get up, go into the truck stop and take a dump, uh, right? Get out, pre-trip, wake up, right? Get on the road, buddy. 30 to 45 minutes, we might go be rolling. Woo, no helicopter over there. No military looking helicopter. Um, yeah. And then I would run, and I would only run till about, I don't know, three or four in the afternoon. That would generally be you know, go drop off something. Which dropping off crap generally didn't take too long. I mean, depending on what you were doing and where you were going. If you were just, if it was just a day of driving, you just crush between 10 and 11 hours of driving. I would, I would always like err on the side of uh, stopping a little early though. I'd sacrifice a few extra miles a week just to be able to have safe parking, which I think is kind of the way to do it. Once you get better at driving and better at Backing into backing into parking spots and navigating truck stops, you know. Then you can, I think it's probably. Then you can, you know, add. Obviously, you can run your clock down a little bit more. But I uh, always be stressed out a little bit going to truck stops. You don't know what kind of because they're all configured like crap. And there's a bunch of people that were like at your skill level. Like it's amazing how many like drivers. I see why like old people that drove have driven for like 10 20 30 plus years kind of look at the game now and are like stressed out by it because I don't think the turnover was as bad back back in the day as it is now where it's like but some of these places have like these trucking companies have like 300 percent turnover that's crazy in a year you get like three drivers for every one position each year that's nuts so got a lot of people out here that have like no experience I, mean, I only got like three and a half years experience and I don't, I don't think that really qualifies me as a uh, you know a seasoned vet kind of got to put about five years into it before you you know probably aren't really considered like new at it anymore I, it's so pretty it's like peak color right there buddy that's nice Woo! Woo, buddy. All right. We are hooked up to our trailer. Oh, let's do this. Sometimes it wants to start in fifth gear. I don't want to pull this old trailer, buddy. How heavy is this trailer? I forgot to look. I'm seeing anybody coming. Let's see what the old weight is. Ah, only 12,000. Not too bad. We should be able to cruise up and down these hills fairly well with that. They showed right up to 12 or 125, dude. They beat me out. They beat me out, buddy. Come on. Come on, here we go. How about that? <laughs> it rarely works out that well. Scooch on out the old truck stop. All right, so it's gonna be about five o'clock where we can get back. I think about the earliest we could do it. So we'll see, it'll be about 5.15 with BS. 
So, yeah, we took a uh, average day and made it a little later, dude. Uh, dude's running into traffic. But honestly, though, their traffic didn't make it any later than uh, than my traffic here. Come on, guys. They're running the red light, ain't they? Probably. Come on. Come on, hillbilly. Put down the oxy. There we go. <laughs> that old turd over there is going to turn left, buddy. That dude just got off the interstate. I see a lot of that lately. Uh, the uh, wanting to turn left across uh, traffic. You have to yield to traffic going this way, man. I don't know. I don't think people understand how the rules work. It would help if the uh, police would enforce it, but uh, that seems to be a thing of the past. I mean, I guess they'll get you for running red lights and stuff, but that seems to be about the, the biggest offense the police are going to come get you for. So, if they're not going to, uh, if they're not going to, there's another deer exploded here. If they're not going to do anything about it, then I understand why people keep, uh, Keep breaking the rules, man. That's why you gotta have rules. Ah, shut up, Michael. Ain't nobody listening to you. Babble about rules. Well, the, well, they say when the people get mad, you mind your own, you mind your own business, driver. LOL, driver. All right. So if all holds well, what I say, 5:15. After we get through everything, trim off the. 15 minutes or so that we're able to do and with traffic continue on I-80 yeah 515 earliest to be at 5 more likely to be somewhere between there and 515 so yeah man kind of a later day dude for going straight up and straight back but that's what happens when you get traffic dude yuck Alright guys, hey, thanks for watching, like the video, subscribe to the channel, get yourself a get out of the way t-shirt as they are stylish and fashionable, and we'll do this here again real flippant soon, Sweet Baby Michael style, peace.